And welcome back everyone, Group H action here for the FX Open Invitational Series. I am Unstable, joined here by Relkin. We're going to go into this first game. It is going to be Sniper versus Hack. And here we go, Startail Hack and uh, versus Sniper on Cloud Kingdom for game number one. Of course, the other two players in this group are going to be uh, FXO's Lucky and TSL Polt. But let's get into it. We have our Red Terran up here at the top right. He's going to be Startail's Hack. And then, of course, down here at the bottom left, we are going to have uh, MVP Sniper playing on Killer's account for some reason. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, I'm uh, probably going to call him Killer at least once, just because he's on Killer's account. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. But we do see uh, one Rack's Gasless Expand coming out from Hack here at the moment. Nothing out of the ordinary for Sniper. And it's a bit unfortunate for Hack. Uh, I was just thinking about this earlier. There's, he's so, a really strong player, but it happens to a lot of the Code B guys. Uh, they... Are often considered some of the best on the team, but they haven't gotten used to the booth yet, so they can't really yeah. perform in GSL, GSTL. Uh, and it's really unfortunate that it's happened. Like, someone like Sniper has only just started coming out now, but uh, the rumor has it that he still tops the uh, internal rankings for, MV for the MVP house over Dongregu, so that's something to consider as well. It's a, it's a similar situation to Tier on FXO as well. Like, yeah. he's been topping the rankings for a good three to four months now, but he's only just now getting rid of his nerves, starting to perform well in, in uh, broadcast matches and things like that. So, uh, let's see how these guys do it. This, our event kind of tends to lean towards these guys doing a lot better, because it's, yeah. like, it is broadcast a bit, they don't think about it, it's just another online tournament There's... to them, so the quality of play actually goes up. There's less um, preparation for it as well, so some of those players who do really well in GSL, but a uh, GSTL, but not the GSL, um, do well because there's they're not going against people who are doing a lot of preparation. It's really just like mm. playing on the fly, adjusting in the best of three format, and some of the players who are good at that uh, can really adjust. But another thing to bring up about Killer like Sniper, damn it, <laughs> um, about Sniper in the MVP house is that the MVP house has a reputation of being really competitive. Uh, so when you hear one of these guys who's rumored to be really high in their internal rankings, that means a lot. Um, so I'm really excited to see him because he's been missing some of his matches recently and uh, feeling bad right now. So I uh, really want to see how he plays. And yep. uh, Hack has opened up this game uh, pretty safely. He's got the two racks, um, well, three racks now after the expansion. He's got a tech lab starting off with the really early combat shields. And on the other side of the field, we do have a quick third hatch from Sniper. I almost called him Keller again. Mm. Uh, but he did so... lose an overlord just up here at the north uh, with uh, these two marines from Hack, which was nicely done. He's also delayed his gas quite a bit. He's already got four queens out, so his sling speed will be quite late. And uh, we'll see what Hack wants to do about that. He can take a third of his own quite quickly if he wants to, but he needs to be careful of any kind of aggression that's uh, started to come out of Zergs here on three bases. Yeah. Every once in a while they just get that third hatch and then they get aggressive off of it just because it's extra larva and it catches you off guard. Because mm -hmm. uh, you see this opening and a lot of the players have been using this just to drone really hard, especially with the extra queen, spread the creep out really far, drone, 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 drone. Uh, but there are marines coming out across the field. These few marines did get seen by the watchtower and the other ones got saw seen by this overlord hanging out over the cliff. Really good overlord positioning if you can get it there without being caught. Uh, so Sniper did see it on the way. He's got 24 more Zerglings in production. He's got two Queens heading down there. He should be able to save this. Um, oh, he'll definitely actually... be able to save it. It'll come down to how many oh. Marines he kills. Oh, he's going to lose an Overlord, though. Uh, and remember, these Lings don't have speed. So as long as Hack just kites well, he should be okay. Yeah, but... Oh, getting... Whoa, he's, he's going to try and get creep. that Queen. He's on the creep as well. Yeah, you're right. And took way too much damage from those trying to catch that Queen. And now he's going to be cleaned up eventually but still doing quite a bit of damage here. Yeah, combat shields is done as well, but one of the things with that is you do want to try and stay off the creep, because that let the Zerglings get a lot of surface area. We lost a lot of Marines there. I mean, if he hadn't stepped out of the creep there, I'm pretty sure he could have killed all of those Zerglings with some good orb walking. Mm. Um, either way, he still killed a good amount. It was a decent trade, especially since he got that Overlord as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but he definitely could have forced more Zerglings. As you can see right now, Sniper is droning, and if he had done that a little bit better, a lot of these drones would be Zerglings. This would be down a few more drones right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's a consideration right now, because it's 53 to 40 at the moment. Uh, Sniper's been droning up pretty hard, and now after deflecting that, he's droning even more. Mm. Double Evo Chamber down here at the Natural for Sniper. Uh, with the finishing up, he'll likely go into those muters just to start putting some pressure on Hack. We got Hack trying to find another Overlord over here, unfortunately. Sniper has learned uh, that lesson. 
Um, yeah, and we do have double eBay from Hack at the same time, so mm. uh, their upgrades are pretty close to being in sync. Snipers are a little bit slower, uh, but we'll see. You know, sometimes those upgrade timings vary over time. One player winds up using a little extra gas on some units, so the next round has to wait a little while. Uh, but for the most part, their 1-1s one are very close to being synced. No huge difference at this point. Uh, so no major advantage, and these Marines are going to see the Overlord here. So it looks like he might lose Overlord number three. Mm. Uh, there are some Zerglings out on the field, but can he get them up there in time? I don't think so. No, that Overlord's going to go down. Well, he will trade these three Marines. It depends on how many Zerglings he actually kills as well. Uh, if he, as long as he gets two, he should be pretty even on that resources lost. But again, he's supply capped Sniper for a third time now. <laughs> yep. uh, so that's quite but frustrating. We have the Baneling Speed and spe uh, Spire on the way, though, so he will be able to start putting some pressure of his own back onto Hack. Yeah, we got a few more um, a barracks and a factory being added in Hack's base. Uh, the Orbital Command at for his third base still hasn't lifted off yet. He's just been using it for some extra workers. Uh, but that means he's going to be able to start cranking out more tanks, a few more units. Armory is about to finish right before the 1-1, one -one, so he's going to keep rolling straight into the 2-2. Two -two. Hack is doing pretty well. Um, he's, I mean, these little engagements don't look the best on paper, but they're good because he keeps forcing Sniper to make units, so mm -hmm. it slows down that drone train. If he's not applying any of that pressure at this point, the Zerg is at 90 drones, and if they're... If you let them get that high this quick, then their economy just steamrolls out of control. So these little engagements have been slowing down Sniper, which is really important. Yeah, it has. So we do see a lot of uh, creeps spread out here now from Sniper, though. It's actually starting to get insane. Hack's going to feel a lot of pressure very shortly. He is down 20 supply at the moment, but his extra production facilities just kicked in. So hopefully he can even that up very quickly. Uh, we do see 11 meters on the way, plus one attack coming out for him as well. And a fourth base now for... For sniper so the things looking very standard here it's going to come down to how effective will the first engagement be here for hack if he can trade nicely and st uh, start moving out across the map he should be okay but it's going to come down to how well he can do that the muters are on their way most likely to this natural there's no actual turrets anywhere yeah he does have a lot of marines but there's no turrets um his starport did actually make a few vikings right now so if those stick with the Marines, you might be able to shell the, the Mutas from range, because they do have that 9 range, micro them really well. But he's going to get directly into this mineral line, force all these workers off. He's going to get, I think, 2 there. Uh, but more importantly, all those workers had to come off. He's coming back on the mineral line, giving him a few more Muta shots. going to take down a few more workers, but uh, that was a good 6 workers killed by Sniper. And then he backs off without losing a Mutalisk, so that's not too bad. Mm -hmm. And now he's got his Zerglings, Banelings up at the top side of the map just to try and catch any uh, run-bys, sneaky attacks that Hack might try to take through the top of the map. But look at that creep spread at this point. Yeah. That is ridiculous. Uh, that's going to let him get a fourth base with no problems, which is normally kind of tough to do on this map. Uh, the fourth base is a little bit harder to secure, but that one's pretty safe given this creep spread. Yeah, absolutely. We do see uh, that Sniper is... Uh, sorry, Hack is actually catching back up in supply, but Sniper's going straight to Hive. He doesn't want to trade many units and uh, waste any resources early, so he's just going to sit here. He's going to tech up as hard as he can, getting so many upgrades on the way now, uh, and he's even getting some spore crawlers and spines to defend from any drops. A very yeah, safe passive smart. style by Sniper. I really like it. I mean, with his creep in the map, the really only thing he has to be worrying about right now are drops. And you can see he's actually spread his creep in a way to cover the map where it's going to be very difficult to sneak a drop by. Mm. Uh, he hasn't really fully covered the left side of the map in favor of going straight up all the way to the top. Just so he has that extra bit of vision, he's got them all the way down here at the bottom as well. Uh, so he's got this in a position where it's not covering everything, but drops are going to be hard to sneak by. Another one, basically the only thing that would have gotten him in trouble right now. Oh, but Hack's coming Hack down here now. Forward. And Sniper, oh, I thought he was just going to go for it right there, but he's going to get a couple of units and back off. The Sniper, uh, sorry, Hack is in a very good position. Yeah, I, Hack needs to try and dissipate this creep, but at this point, I mean, it was already starting to move up his ramp. It's going to be very difficult to get this creep out of here, which means it's going to be very difficult to do anything. Mm. Um, uh, it's just really hard at this point, because Hack... His army isn't that big, he's got to be really careful, and it, with an army like this, moving onto creep is really bad, but the creep is on the entire map. He doesn't have a choice, he has to move on creep. It's generally the one thing you avoid right now at this point with an army like this, so... Yeah. He's gonna try and kill as many creep tumors, and then maybe try and back off, but... I don't think he has the time to really back off. So now, Killer knows 
Sniper knows exactly where he is. He's just gonna swing up to the third base, get in the mineral line, actually use the siege tanks against the SCVs there a little bit. Got a few kills and then got out without really losing too many units. Nicely played. We do see a drop over here on the left hand side. Uh, as well as some Marines coming in to hit this third base, but both are gonna be shut down quite nicely. Uh, however, the one drop on the right hand side is gonna take out this hatchery. Uh, but that was just really an extra hatchery that Sniper was trying to get away with. Uh, the spine crawlers and Zerg yeah. is going to clean up this drop on the left. And Hack really just on the back foot this entire game. <laughs> the, the passive macro here from Sniper and the creep spread has just forced him into a corner way before he was ready. And now he's just so timid to move out because Sniper is literally everywhere. I like the way that Sniper played this. Um, I gotta give him some credit because he was moving around the center of the map with Zerglings and Banelings pretty early mm. and making Hack nervous about entering the center of the map, which allowed him to spread the creep tumors freely. You see some Banelings going off killing quite a few Marines, shutting down that drop as well with the Fungals and the Mutas uh, that just got completely smashed. It was a good portion of his units, uh, but you know, Sniper just did a good job of keeping the center of the map under his control, which is what allowed this ridiculous creep spread. Then once the ridiculous creep spread happened, Hack was just put into a really difficult position of what do, like... Yeah. Well, a drop everywhere. is being st uh, shut down up here on the left of double one, as Hack is coming down on the left-hand side. So he will be able to take out this hatchery because Sniper's army is completely out of position. He pulled his entire army to deal with that then. I think then. he will. Uh, actually, no, that's um, right, too. The ultras, I didn't see them on the minimap because it's purple on, on Zerg creep. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, he was actually focusing down the spine crawlers instead of hitting that hatch. Mm. Uh, so he definitely had an opportunity to kill it. Now he's going after it again, but the ultras are coming back in with banelings and infestors this time. Mm -hmm. So he's actually going to be able to rip through his army quite well. Everything's dead. Um, that That's GG, maybe? <laughs> that, I mean, he might not throw it in just yet, but at that point, I don't see Hack pulling it back after this. Yes. This has uh, been a pretty one-sided game uh, the whole way through. The creep is even back up to the, the uh, ramp of the base over here. Hack trying to get a fourth base, but it's just not going to happen. There's too many Ultras, Infestors, and uh, Mutalists here as well. Nice fungal coming down on all those Marines, and, and the Ultras go to town on those as well. He's trying to repair this Planetary Fortress, but there's just too many Mutas here. He's going to clean it up as well. He's trying to get it out of there. Not going to happen, though, and this one Ultra is going to be taken out by the Marauders, so... Hack trying to stabilize it. You can see him, he's like, wait, I need to take it on the base, but there's no uh, absolutely zero chance of that happening with the creep spread that we've got here. <laughs> Look at the other command center flying over to the other usual fourth base. Creep everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, well, maybe I'll get to land. Nope. Uh, <laughs> that was just the most optimistic command center ever, because, I mean, he should be aware that this is all full of creep, and he just flew over there anyway. Yeah. Um, and now he's having to make the long, slow fly over to the other fourth base. <laughs> This one isn't covered by the sensor tower, the Zerg units swarming all over the place, just waiting for him to try to land. Then he's probably just going to get blown up by Banelings. Yeah. Um, at this point, I don't think Hack really has a chance, but he's stubbornly trying to get that fourth phase up because sometimes the Zerg players just keep throwing units at you and let you survive a little bit longer. So he's giving Sniper a chance to mess up, basically. Because mm. if Sniper does, he can maybe try and pull it back. Well, he's 50 supply down at the moment, more banelings being moved. He can't secure his fourth base. I uh, really didn't think this is just going to come down to when a sniper attacks the next time. Uh, it'll actually... What the hell is this investor doing? <laughs> anyway. He's stuck and there doing jake, but... Yeah. Um, so yeah, here comes... Blow this up with some banelings, I think. That's what it looks like he's getting ready to do. Yeah, here he comes. Sniper coming in with the rest of his army. He's so much ahead in supply. So much tech ex as well. He's, this army for hack is just evaporating. And I oh think this God. is going to be it. It's just too much for him to deal with. He's going to lose this planetary again. There's the GG. Sniper will take game number one in one of the most one-sided games I have ever seen. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty ridiculous. Alrighty, so we'll be right back with our next match uh, in two minutes after our quick break. Stay with us.